Long before fire, before farming, before we learned to chew or cook, the first nourishment we ever received was not from food. It came from light. Inside each of your trillions of cells, there is a tiny spinning motor called ATP synthesis. It is not powered by burning fuel. It turns when a proton. A tiny packet of energy passes through it, but in quantum information holography, a proton is more than just a particle. It is what we call a quantum state vector, a wave of spinning light encoded with frequency. And in this framework, frequency is energy. This is what the famous equation tells us. Energy equals Planck's constant multiplied by angular frequency. In simpler terms, the faster something spins in its own light pattern, the more energy it contains. Each proton carries this energy as a spiral of light, a wave that moves through space and time carrying direction, rhythm and resonance. When that spiral crosses the inner membrane of your mitochondria, it spins the ATP motor just like a record needle tracing the grooves of a vinyl album. The result is ATP, the molecule that powers every thought, every breath, every heartbeat. But today, when there is no food, when glucose runs dry, that proton stream slows down and eventually stops. This is what we experience as starvation. The light is still out there, but the body can no longer access it. Now imagine something different, a Tesla coil not designed to shock, but to resonate. Its field does not push the cell it sings to it. It broadcasts energy at the same frequency that the proton naturally spins. When those frequencies align, the cell recognizes the signal. The protons begin to spin in sync. The ATP motor turns once more, and this time no food is needed. This Tesla coil skips digestion entirely. It gives the proton its rhythm directly, like striking a tuning fork near a string, and the cell responds, yes, this is my frequency, I remember. We will test this, we will grow living cells, remove their food supply, and expose them only to this coherent field. If they survive, if they make ATP, we will have proven something remarkable, that life is not powered by matter, it is powered by encoded light. And then we scale it, Tesla coils in homes, in shelters, in cities, not to power machines, but to feed mitochondria, a global energy grid tuned not for devices, but for living cells. No more waste, no more hunger, only coherence, clean, elegant, eternal, because what we call eating is just a slow and messy way of delivering what the cell truly wants. The spin, the frequency, the light. And now for the first time in human history, we can give it that light directly. Tesla's dream has become reality through quantum information holography, the true end of hunger because your body was never truly powered by food. It has always been powered by resonance, by coherence, by light, and now we know how to listen.